The memorial across from the Century 16 Theater continues to draw people from all walks of life, showing not only the diversity of those who've been touched by this, but also the spirit of unity that they share. The city of Aurora has long struggled with its image, that of a sprawling suburb coping with big city problems and crime. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez now joining us, looking at a community determined not to be defined by what happened one week ago tonight. Lance? Well, Mike, I've been reviewing violent crime statistics for the entire metro area, and they show that Aurora is actually safer than many other Front Range communities, underscoring that this type of tragedy can happen anywhere. This sign on South Havana says, Stay Strong, Aurora. It's symbolic of how this diverse community is pulling together in the wake of the horrific movie theater tragedy. Well, an image is formed by experience. Councilwoman Molly Marker says there will always be some people who will think of the shootings whenever they hear the word Aurora. She says that's natural. New Orleans, Katrina, I mean, things are linked together. But she says the city has a chance to move beyond that. I think our goal isn't to define Aurora by one event or one circumstance, but how we evolve, how we deal with it. She says Aurora residents have reached out big time to help their neighbors. Aurora Aurora auto dealer Ed Bozarth donated $50,000 to a victim's fund and to first responders. And people are noticing. Coming from Tucson, it felt a little bit like deja vu. C.J. Kleck moved to Aurora three days ago. He was in Tucson when Gabriel Giffords was shot. I think the, the community in Tucson rebounded well and reacted well, and I think it's going to be the same thing here in Aurora. Long term, will this hurt Aurora at all? <sighs> no. What, will, what Aurora will be is a model city for how you respond to tragedies like this. Now, Marker says Aurora pulled together after the Chuck E. Cheese massacre in 1993. That's when a 19-year-old gunman shot and killed three teenagers and their manager. She says that crime didn't define Aurora, and this one won't either. Live in the newsroom, I'm Lance Hernandez, 7 News.